Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, we have a Messenger 4V here today that I got in on a trade a while back. <clears throat> um, I'm moving my shop. We uh, sold our house and we're moving across country. So this will probably be the last thing I put up for a while. Just thought maybe I'd look at it before I packed it and then I ended up getting involved in fixing it while I was waiting for a part for a uh, this RCI here, the part came in, it was the wrong part, so now I'm just going to give a refund on this and uh, hold on to it for a while. When the part comes in, I'll fix this and put it back on. But uh, RCI, what I did on this one, just so you know, has a low output, no amp on, amp on, so uh, dead key on it is a whopping one watt right now with the amp off audio audio swings about 12 so that's what we're going to be driving this messenger with uh, this is a uh, it has two pills driving eight two uh, MFR 455s and eight uh, SD 1446s um, so, uh, it has the, uh, you'll see from the pictures, the ground strap was installed in it. I didn't install it. It was like that. I had to change a couple capacitors that were undersized and one of the coils was, uh, undersized. So we changed the coil out <clears throat> and that was about all we had to do to it. And we, uh, did a little tune on it. It's not tuned to its fullest. Just let you know that. I don't like running things hard bored out. Right now, the way this is set up, it'll really run a long time with a dead key on it. It does get warm, though. You're going to have to get a fan or some circulation under it. I would suggest a fan. There is a little fan jack on the back that you can use. Uh, so on the front, it looks nice and clean. It has this little hole here. I don't have any idea why the hole is there, what they had mounted. If there was a light in there, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. But... Uh, here you go, let's turn her on. So I have the squelch set on this so you can't really hear the volume right now. But you'll see that the receive, when I turn the receive on, breaks that squelch. Receive light works. So the receive amp's working on it. Uh, just give a little test. So as you've seen, I'm going to go up to the 200 watt scale. we got a watt into it. audio so we're pegging the 200 watt scale on low i'm going to go to the 2k dead key you can see there's hardly anything there audio audio we're swinging about 450 on low medium it's my dog he wants to talk on the radio too sometimes so again low dead key Audio. Audio. Jumps up to about 600. Then on high. Audio. Audio. About 7, 725 out of it. It could easily be made to do a thousand watts. But again, I mean, look. You all know audio's king, not power, right? Low dead key. Hello. Audio. Audio, audio, audio. Audio. Yeah, easy 700 out of it. And that's only what, like I said, let's turn it off and we'll check our dead key again. It's a watt. I'm putting a watt in. Driving uh, to, to 10, 11 watts. But uh, I wouldn't suggest using any more than 4 watts going into this. You know, you're going to heat it up. Yeah, you'll get some more wattage out of it. But you're going to sound the same, so... Keep your wattage low, 4 watts, swing 12, 15, 20, whatever. That's about all I'd keep doing with this. Uh, you'll see the pictures on the back. There were some modifications to the back. They took the fuse out of it. Uh, fuse is kind of cheesy anyway that they have in there for uh, what amperage it's pulling. You know, 100 amps. or no, ah, It's not pulling 100 amps, but it should be rated for 100 amps. I don't think that fuse holder is. So they pulled the uh, thing out. You'll see in the picture also there's two 
power lines going in and they put two grounds in and that ground strap was put in there and the two separate grounds like that to help get the uh, flow of current through the transistors because with such a small board that this lays on such a small package you're not able to get the flow you need through the transistors so that was a trick they started doing back in the day is putting that uh phenolic it has a it's copper little phenolic and then copper again it's not a solid piece of copper that's supposed to help with the uh heat transfer also off of the transistors so i ran this with the top off for quite a time i did some dead keying for about a god two minute three minute dead key that i was just talking into it mumbling singing happy birthday and i wasn't gonna tape that and show everyone but yeah it didn't get too hot really you know the hottest part was the switch it got hot and uh i found the loose connection on there cold solder joint so we fixed that so it, i mean it doesn't run so hot i was just running it pretty good for a while so uh here it is guys uh messenger 4v it's a very good uh amplifier built very well uh i like them better than the texas stars and uh, there's always a debate about which one's better. I think that the Messenger used much uh, higher quality parts than the uh, Texas Stars did. But Texas Stars is a good amp too. But here you go, guys. Uh, as you can see, it's got a little damage on it. I didn't do anything to the box. I'm not painting it. If you guys want to paint it, it has some Velcro on the top. That you guys, it'll pull right off and you can clean it up. I just don't have the time or the patience right now with the move. So... This is it guys, uh, as you can see it's a working Messenger 4. I don't have the remote for it, so if you need the remote, good luck trying to find it. I know they're out there, but they're hard to come by. You could always wire some switch up or something just to power it off and on. But uh, listen guys, have a good one. Hope to see you in the future, maybe a month by the time I get uh, moved and my shop built back up. And a lot of stuff to move. I've been packing stuff. I mean, I haven't really touched any, I mean, I've been just packing, packing. Uh, this is some future projects coming up that you'll see a 201, 201A that has a frequency counter built into it. Once again, I didn't do that. I don't like defacing tuba radios like that. And there's some uh, stuff I just got done refurbishing not long ago that uh, SX100 and a speaker and there's a madison up there i have a cobra 2000 i have a dac i have some robin t123s and 240s that are going to be getting put in and here's my dog out there <whistles> say hi boy yeah there he is look at that guy he's an old boy hanging out watching the house for me while i'm working you know so guys again 73s god bless and uh have a good day